Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. Creating a mask can be used with a range of tools. The first step we'll go over are the marquee tools. Basically, the marquee makes a selection in the form of a shape that can be manipulated or changed. When it comes to masking, these selections will make masks that can be added to, subtracted from, or changed. And with the different marquee tools available, you can get pretty creative. I have here a picture of some beautiful tiles that I took while on a trip to the Getty Villa Museum in Malibu, California. What I want to do is isolate the colors of pieces of this picture. First what I'm going to do is create a duplicate layer and name it color. Then I'm going to rename the background B&W for black and white. Now I'm going to change some settings on the black and white image, such as image saturation and brightness and contrast so the image will actually be black and white and more discernible from the color. With the color layer selected, I'm going to grab my first marquee tool, the rectangle. Click and drag across one of the squares from its corner to the other corner to select it. When I'm satisfied with that, I will go down to the new layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. As you can see, only my selection is colored. I'll make the background invisible for a better example. Now let's say you want to add to the mask. With the marquee tool selected, add another square. When you do that, you want to fill in the selection with white. Because masks work with selections based on the colors of black and white, right click on your selection, then click fill, and under the selection of colors, click white. White will fill in the mask and add to it. White adds, black subtracts. One thing to note is that each addition you make will add to the same mask. To make a new mask, you need to have a separate layer. Now let's fill in one of the circles. With the elliptical marquee tool selected, press and hold the Alt key for the PC, Option key for the Mac, and click and drag out from the center of the circle. Since it's tough to make a perfect selection on your first try, let go of the mouse and go up to Select at the top of Photoshop. Click Transform Selection, and it allows you to change what you have selected to fit perfectly. Once you have done this, right click on the image and click Fill, or you can go up to Edit and click on Fill. Not much more to it, but it can come in handy for isolating shapes, and you can master isolating complicated areas of the image as you get better with it. In the next video, I will go over masking with the lasso tools. Thanks for watching. You can send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.